Hey everybody. Well, it's been a while since I last recorded a video, I think. Well, not a while, a while. What I mean by a while is last episode, episode, yeah, let's call this an episode. It was um January 28th. Right now it's Gen it's February 1. February 1, 2022. Time is 3:51 a.m. Pretty close to 4. And my my all my evil eye videos were me wearing the same shirt. I think it's a Joker shirt, the black one. This time I'm wearing my white shirt. This one's really big, and I love the shirt. I love big shirts; they're comfy. Anyway, so I prepared like a notepad list for things I'm. I think I'm gonna be talking about today. So, uh, yeah, let's just go over it while playing the game. Uh, yeah, seems fine. I'm playing Beko BGMs, by the way. Uh, the Beko BGMs involve Alone, Festival, Happy Spring, In the Cyber City, Short Film, Smoky Town. These are the six BGMs I'm gonna be playing. There's gonna be looping all over and over again. And I'm gonna continue my my ultimate stuff. I think I I did a bit. I think I was in Foggy Bank last time, or in, but now I'm in Flooded Passage. But yeah, I didn't really skip much. Like I didn't go to Cronley's Arc right away. You know, I I restrained myself surprisingly. Oh yeah, anyways, the things I was going to talk about today. So there's fire, 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 a video game made by the same creators of um, Bastion, Transistor, and Hades. Fire. I finished Transistor already, I didn't play Bastion yet, but my dad played that. He played Transistor and Bastion and he loved those games. He didn't play fire, but I finished fire. I like fire, I love the concept. I finished in standard difficulty by the way. Wait, let's talk about this in more detail later. So, topic is Pyre. There's one about Bokurano. Me and my dad just finished the anime recently. Um, the fact that we're gonna get back the internet this month, or we might. And about Ningguang skin and this character. Regarding this character, this character's gonna have a difficult time. Anyways, Pyre. I finished the game in. Um, Standard difficulty. Even in standard, I was having a hard time. Maybe it's because I'm using keyboard and mouse as opposed to, you know, using the controller, which I think is the superior version in that game. I, I haven't really used a controller in my entire life, though. I haven't really. Maybe I played games that record a controller, but I always have been using um, the mouse and keyboard. We had the controller before, but only my dad was using it, and for some reason it's not working anymore. I, f I kinda feel like I should have used it while it wasn't broken. I should go here. It was Pyre was really fun. I picked that again. I mean, I played that game like a year ago, and then for some reason I stopped playing it, so I came back to catch up to it. Luckily, I still remember most of what happened in the story. Okay, this guy's hurt. Luckily, I have Behemoth and Blood of Drake. Okay. Oh my god, there's more. So, yeah, Fire was really fun. Um, I, I think there's like more to the game. Maybe there's gonna be some secrets in the, the the true night thing, which is like the really hard difficulty. I'm not gonna play that. I had a hard time with standard. I don't think I'm gonna be able to play um, uh, the the hardest difficulty in the game. Anyway, it was it was really enjoyable. That game was good. I'm glad I played it, and I'm glad I came back to it and finished it this time. For some reason, it wasn't actually that long. It took me like a day to finish it. I mean, I already liberated the cur, but that was about all. From then on, I, I picked up the game again. I think his name was Rough or something. 
rough wharf bark, I don't know. Or woof, who knows. I think it was rough. Anyways, yeah, that game was good. Um, and what was my other topic? Bokurano. This might take a while. I, I hope it doesn't. It depends on my 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 eloquence. Eloquence? It was how I free stuff. Man, that anime is. I knew it was gonna be depressing shit. But. Really, the only part that was depressing. That was really depressing. Was, um. I think it starts at like. It starts at like episode 6, but. The. I think it's episode 7, really. Episode 6 is just sort of like the build up for episode 7. It's about this lady, um. Wait, anyways. I should talk about the, the, the anime first. The anime is um, 24 episodes. And uh, the premise is these kids have like a, a contract with like this robot, right? They kind of got fooled into thinking that they were gonna have fun. I mean, they're in middle school, so they wanted to have fun. But even though they're in middle school, you know, they're not that, that kitty. At, at least not most of them. And they kind of mature over the episodes. Anyways, they kind of get conned and um, fulfilling this contract or um, you know joining this contract. And the contract is they have to um, they have to um, pilot this robot, right? And they have to fight monsters. That's all they know. And later on, they find out that um, every time a pilot, you know, defeats uh, an enemy. Um, they lose their lives because the pilot runs on their life force. So they're pretty much sacrificing themselves for Earth. And it's against their will. I could probably explain that better, but yeah, that's pretty much how it goes. I think it's understandable. Anyways, yeah. So, man, I, I really can't get the story of um, episode 7 out of my head. Fuck, that story was... You know how most of the stories in the anime are sort of, you know... They're negative, but they have some positive parts, you know? Parts that would make you think, um... That would give you hope, you know? And and make you even sadder. Because, you know, when like... What the fuck, this guy's not dying. When you like replace um, positivity with negativity, it makes the negativity more effective, right? You get my meaning? But episode 7 was just pure malice, pure evil. And it's a story that Johan, Johan would create. And it's... I still can't get the story out of my head, I can't, mo I can't move on. It, it feels the same as I when I finish uh, Emergence. When I finished Emergence, I felt fucking empty. I felt nothing but sadness and emptiness. It's a good story, but... You can't help but feel really, really upset about it, you know? I was really invest invest I was invested in each episode, by the way. And I love Daichi. That, that like, um, dark-skinned guy. I, I, I knew I liked that guy, especially when I heard his voice. I was, I was sure it was Sugita. <laughs> and he's such, an, he's such a great guy. As I'm getting sidetracked, and a Jesus story was. I probably shouldn't talk about it. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it's tragic. If you guys are curious, I recommend watching the anime. It's like a, was it a 2003 anime? I don't quite remember. And I was really happy. I think I remember recommending this anime to my dad and telling him to download it because of the song, the opening song, on un uninstall. It's it's a song that's used in one of my favorite remixes in the world. Fuck, this guy hurts. One of my favorite remixes in the world, which is uh, Kumikyo Niko Niko Doga. That, they, they use the different songs there, like Hari Hari Yukai, God Knows, um, and meme songs from like the the early 2000 memes, you know? It's, it's like a, a melting pot of meme culture, real Japanese meme culture there. And that song introduced me to a lot of things and motivated me to, you know, 
tell my, my dad that we should watch stuff like Haruhi and I can also recommend it in Boku Rana because one of the songs there was uh, one of the songs there was related to that related to that anime and man the opening is catchy as hell uninstall okay I managed to to not make um choose a story long I because I didn't talk about it in the first place I'm just gonna say it's sad emergence level sad Maybe it's not as fucked up, but it is pretty fucked up for me. Because I really feel bad for her. One thing I don't understand though is... Um, I don't think I'm really spoiling anything by saying this, but I have like a question. Despite her knowing how despicable that, you know, that asshole was, why did she keep doing it? Anyways, why should why did she continue it? And why does her sister not know about it? That skill's not ready. It's quite curious really. Maybe I'll talk about her story some other time. Maybe by the time like I I create like um two more episodes. I create I record I record two more episodes after this. Maybe I'll talk about it. I her, I really couldn't get her story out of my mind, and so I had to like I I was like sleepless for a long time, and um, I decided to write down like a, a sort of summary of her story. Well, not really a summary. Like um, I literally like you know wrote everything down from my memory regarding her story. Oh, my mouth kind of hurts from talking. That usually never happens. Maybe I'm using my jaw wrong or something? What the fuck is wrong with me? Wait, I have to add something. Okay. Let's kill this thing first before moving on to the next topic. Uh... <laughs> I don't think, you know, people like content creators, I don't think they make it this clear that they're gonna, you know, move on from topic to topic. <laughs> I'm, I'm fucking up in that regard, huh? I'm making it pretty clear, like, oh, I'm gonna talk about this now and I'm gonna talk about this next. Pretty weird. Ooh. Don't I already have this? Maybe, I, maybe it just looks the same. Hmm. I think I'll just keep this just in case. Maybe I'll have other characters that will use it. I'm planning to play uh, a Panetti character next time. An Arcanus. I think it's similar to Dreek's Evil Eye. This build. The Panetti. Mm, I really want to do it. Do Looks like a cool spell. Uh, oh, I didn't explore the part there. Oh god! What? I didn't take damage. I really hate that ability, the Falling Rocks ability. Oh my god! Can't do that. Ooh! Fucking internal trauma. Is there even a resistance against internal trauma? Or is it just bleeding? Anyways, I, wasn't, I didn't go there yet. Anyways, we talk about a bit about Bokuran. Well, apart from Cheese's story, of course, there's there's more about it. That's really good. You know, the 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 idea of the story is just interesting. And apparently, you know, the it's based from a manga, right? And apparently, the manga is um the one who um still um created the story for the anime. Apparently, he polished it because he didn't really like how the manga ended. That's what my dad said. I'm not sure if his sources are accurate, but I guess he read it from the Wikipedia. The anime and the manga have completely different endings, but they both seem good. Like, I didn't read the manga yet, but the manga ending doesn't sound bad to me. And the um, the anime ending was really good for me as well. In fact, I really like the show. Characters I really like were um, 
characters like um, Moji, Daichi. <laughs> I guess it's mostly the dude. The Chizu was also pretty nice. She knew what she was doing. No. Uh, I find it a bit difficult to understand here sometimes. Women is a mysterious thing. And it's your job to unravel that mysterious thing. Oh yeah, I watched High School Girl High School Girl again like um a month or so ago or two. I should talk about that. But yeah, I'll just write it down before I forget. I should do this more often. My memory sucks, so I have to resort to this method. Anyways, uh, characters like Moji, Daichi. Hmm, who else did I like? I guess I, I like um, Kanji and... Um, yeah, Kanji. I like Kanji. The fat guy wasn't wasn't bad as well either, but his movement was amazing with the bot. My God, that guy was so cool. I was I was looking forward to the well I wasn't looking I wasn't looking forward to the 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 robot animation because usually enemies fuck it up even nowadays they still fuck it up, but the um, the fight scenes in that anime aren't actually bad. They're pretty robotic in the sense that they're really slow. Oh, it's one of these. These things are so fucking strong. I'm pretty sure this increases my damage by a lot. I think I have one of it, though. Uh, that was from Elite. Hmm. concept of the anime is interesting. The characters are all likable, except for Ushira. Fuck that guy. I mean, sure, he he had like um, like a you know, like a sort of a redemption arc near the end. But but big but, he was still an asshole, especially to his fucking sister. I can't believe you can be such an asshole to a, a cute and um caring sister like her. Kinda was great. I like Kinda. Oh! This is also pretty good. In fact, this is better than the <laughs> than the Oathkeeper one. Move along now, string. Okay. Can't do that yet. I wanna go to the bottom. I hope I can get some luck with my key. Maybe you can get a key. Access the the door place. That'd be nice. Oh yeah, anyways, I'm forgetting. Kana. But a cute sister. Yeah, Ushiro wasn't that likable. Oh, the bully also wasn't likable, but this episode was pretty amusing. In a sense that, you know... It's kinda... It's kinda amusing to see such a, a worthless guy, you know? <laughs> uh, what was that guy's name? Kodo or something? I, I don't remember. The, that the guy that bullies the fat guy, and also likes Chizu. She tried to rape. Uh, he tried to rape her, but then you know, she like kind of just kicked him, fell some, st and then he fell some stairs, and then he died to the earthquake later on, the rubble. <laughs> that guy was great. That was. Great in a sense that, you know, what do I mean by great? Probably the opposite of the word. I guess I meant it sarcastically, even though I didn't really say it in a sarcastic manner. Oh yeah, I should talk about the characters I like. Daichi and Moji, right? Moji is the fucking... I didn't get a key, damn it. Moji is the ultimate wingman. Like, what can I say? That guy's great. He he literally gave his heart for his friend. There aren't many wingmen like that, you know. Giving your heart to your friend like that's some dedication. 
I need a, a rift stone, right? Uh, <laughs> Moji's story was really nice. Like, you know, it really was about a bro helping another bro. That guy is just likable overall, you know? He's, he's such a perfect guy. Like if you were to try and find something bad to say to him, you know, there just wouldn't be one. Cause he just he's just so perfect. I like this item. I need the resistance though. That just gives the resistance that just gives us really, really appealing. I wish there's a mythical version for this that I can use later on. Plus two meter range to force swim. Awesome. Moji was great because he was the ultimate wingman and he's very sharp. And he's just overall likable and a perfect guy. If you want a friend, you would want that guy as your friend. The other guy that I like was Daichi. That guy um, was, you know, very true to his word. What does this give? Give elemental and poison and acid. Do I need piercing resistance? I don't. Do I need vitality resistance? I kinda do. Is there a pants that would give me vitality resistance? Hmm. No, I probably shouldn't be thinking about this. It gives Aether and Chaos damage, which I don't need. Mm. How about this one? Acid and Chaos and Poison. Some defensive ability. But it... It, it kind of cuts my health by like, a bit. I don't want my health being cut. Not at all. Not at all, sir. This sounds nice. I do have Vecco BGMs in my playlist, but... I don't really um you know play them like in a in a daily occurrence. Boom. Daichi was true to his word and his um his character is pretty simple to understand. His Seiyu is really good because it's fucking Sugita. If you don't know who Sugita is, um I don't know. Maybe you're uh, a new person. In the anime world. Oh wait, I'm gonna have to fight everything here again, aren't I? I have I didn't think about that. Uh, I kinda have to be careful because these guys hurt. Sadly most of the items here are necromancer and night blade stuff, I think. Which kinda suck. Because I'm not either of those. I was hoping it would be related to poison because these things seem to abuse poison. And not sure what was so appealing about Daichi's story. It was simple to understand and it was impactful, you know? This desire was easily understood. And his commitment to his family is just really appealing. That skill's not ready. And his cheap ass chair makes him really appealing too. Like each character gets like their own chair, the ones they usually sit on, and he gets a pillow. No, I like that. Do 
Good thing I get to fight that thing first. Come here, come here. Anyway, I should move on to another topic. I feel like my brain is melting trying to think of ways to avoid spoiling, like g giving you guys big spoilers. Might get internet this month? Huh. My dad said that they are, they'll be here at like February or so. But knowing the internet service com uh, provider in our country, uh, I don't really trust their word. Because God knows they're garbage. I told you already ab about it, but they apparently don't even have their their own net. My dad went to like um like a one of their offices, sort of like where you can like you know talk to their people, and the guy there didn't even have um the guys there didn't even have net, so you can't really expect much from them, you know. Like it's hard to expect them to. It's it's hard to expect them to f you know fix your internet when they don't even have their internet. But yeah, hopefully um you know what they say is true. It's gonna be around this month. He said that they might be here today, February one, but I'm not so sure. Internet here is overpriced and garbage. Ah, we've got no choice. Made me really happy though when um the third day. I mean I don't really like that guy or anything, but <laughs> I think it was like a year or two ago where like he he threatened to shut down the internet service. The internet companies. And I like that because when he did that, they actually improved a bit, a bit, in their services. I mean, they're still shit, but you know, they were actually making effort, and that was nice. I just hope that we don't have to resort to like changing like you know internet um don't have to resort to changing our internet um what do you call it like internet connection every like half a year or so <laughs> cuz back then we did that my dad did that. He would change like the 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 internet like every half a year or some shit. Because he really needed it for his job. And there would be times where like this this internet service provider would be bad, the other one would be bad, and this one would be decent. You know, he just had to ke keep changing, which is really inconvenient, but couldn't be helped. <laughs> oh yeah, and Joyce, Joyce back to work now, which is great. Uh, apparently since yesterday. I was actually surprised. I, she was leaving, um, like, um, I think it was like a summer in the afternoon. I saw her leaving and then I wish her luck and then she sighed. She obviously wasn't really enthusiastic about this. But yeah, when sh she went back home late and and I like before she went back home, I asked dad like, you know, if you know, Joy was successful or something. And yeah, apparently she um, she managed to get back to work. And I'm glad for her. That's good news. She hasn't been paid for a while now. So, it's good to get back to work.
And I'm still playing Genshin from my dad's phone. <laughs> well, because of his work, I can't really have access to his phone all day anymore. I don't think I need to explore this part, right? Um, but I've been I've been trying to play, and I finished the recent story with the the Lantern Ride Festival, and man, that cinematic gave me chills. Uh, cinematic was great. These like these recent stories of Leeway really make me appreciate and love Leeway by a lot. God, it's amazing. This 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 fucking nation. Me and my dad often compare them to China. Can't do that yet. And man, it's really... Why did I even mention China? I don't think I'm gonna be, um... I'm gonna be adding any more <laughs> information regarding that. But... Why did I even mention that in the first place if I'm not gonna do that, you know? I had like something in mind to like connect what I said, but it just disappeared. Anyway, is that that recent cinematic that you know how it showed like all the Leeway characters? Them sort of enjoying the fireworks and all. And Kiching changing into her um her dress. Beautiful. And Beido like commenting on uh Ningguang's quest uh Ningguang's quest, Ningguang's some um, dress. I ship those too. That skill's not ready. I hate to be one of those obnoxious shippers, but can't help it man. Or something about Beidou and Ningguang, I swear to god. I still get along well. And I got Ningguang's new skin! I'm glad it's free. Because, again, I don't really have a, a credit card or anything. I don't even have work either, so I'm penniless. Though I do have money, I have like 2,500 pesos. Um, my, my uncle and my, my grandma gave me, um, from my father's side, by the way, both of them gave me um, money. Um, they sent it uh, like during the typhoon or that. The reason typhoon. That not I think my grandma, but I didn't really. I don't think I, I don't remember thinking my uncle. I think it's partly because I don't have his um FB. I really should look it up. Though it kind of feels odd to thank him now. Can't do that yet. I did tell my dad to thank him for me. Now that I think about it, I don't know why I told him that. The The idea to like thank him myself didn't really occur to me because I thought I couldn't use FB. But then I remembered that I can actually use FB with just data. You don't need the internet to use FB. There's like mobile data, you know? and. You can just message people for free there. Yeah, so I've started doing that already. I should have done that sooner so I can, I could check, you know, school updates. But since I'm an idiot, I didn't do that. Anyways, I have two five, but I can't. I'm not really using it. I don't need to use it, and even if I wanted to use it, like, what the hell would I buy with, you know, one thousand, one thousand five hundred? Like, I don't have change. I can't buy simple snacks unless I buy like a, a lot of them. Oh god, frozen. Ah, it hurts. Stay away from me. Am I really gonna be okay? This character's gonna be difficult, man. I'm having a hard time. I'll try to finish the game regardless. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure if 2-5 is enough to buy a skin. I pray to god that if they give a Noel skin, 
either I have vertical ready or it's gonna be free but I'd like to pay for it honestly but yeah again I don't have work so I hope it doesn't come out anytime soon that they really should review uh, you know Reveal. They really should, you know, make use of that KFC idea that they did. And like, I'd like a fucking KFC Noel skin. I mean, I'm not a big fan of KFC or anything, but the idea amuses me. And I can imagine her, you know, like maybe they can they can spoil us and then change her weapon as well, her weapon old animation, like make it like a, a huge fucking chicken leg. Can you imagine that a drumstick? Like just her, like. Hitting everybody with a drumstick. I love that idea. <laughs> Fucking Claymore drumstick. Oh man. That'd be so good. <laughs> Completed pretty much everything about the recent event. I, I I had the impression I needed to play co-op for that 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 boss, the serpent boss, but because my dad told me he was doing it in co-op, I should have tried doing it in co-op. But you know, I finished it solo. Kanye's really strong against that thing, so it was really easy. Can't do that. Mm. I mean, I already fought it before, so I kind of know its patterns. Or is it still the same patterns? I don't know. Its attacks were really obvious and easy to to like um, dodge. And even if I couldn't dodge it, it didn't really do much damage. Yeah, the boss is really weak. Probably could kill it with Ningguang as well. No, I, lately I've been using um, Ningguang less and less. I've been favoring Traveler with my Noel. I think having like three energy batteries for my Noel and gi giving her that 10% crit rate from the Geo Traveler is really good. But I think I'll s go back to using Ningua. Because Ningua is just. Well, she's been with me for a while, so she's kind of what I'm used to. It, it sucks though that she's only Constell Constellation 2. She was Constellation 1 only, actually, until recently. Um. Until recently, I you have like this thing where like you can um get all you can choose. This is like the second time they've done this, I think. Or you can choose like um you have like a choice uh, with all the leeway characters, all the four star characters. You're not gonna get the five stars. Come on. But you have like a choice, right? And. I picked Ningguang this time, and I'm not sure who I picked last time. I think it might have been um, Shangling or Chinkyu. This gives a hater resistance, actually. Hmm, curious. East Marsh, huh? I'm not sure if I can go there yet. I can, but I'd like to get level 34. Thir oh my god, yeah, I should use the XP. 34, 94. Come on. What did I go to school for? That skill's not ready. What? Oh, I, I, I didn't even know what actually worked. Oh, I'm stuck! Oh my god. Door stuck. Was that a CSGO meme? I think it was. Oh, this thing's really weak. Mm. Well, I'll be. Yeah, it's been pretty fun lately. Uh, I'm ho I'm hoping they don't really add Sumeru until like fucking next year or some shit because I I, I barely scratch exploring in Azuma. 
So I can't imagine we're having another fucking continent already. It's gonna be a desert continent, I think, too, so... I'm kinda looking forward to it. I wonder how it's gonna be. I'm usually not a big fan of desert maps, but... Knowing that, you know, it's Genshin handling it. Miho, yeah, they're probably gonna do it really well. They're good at designing stuff. And it's amazing how fast they create the continents. Jesus. Yeah, I hope it doesn't come out soon. I mean, fucking people keep demanding fucking content, man. And these people have too much time. How do they finish stuff so fast? Take your time. Enjoy it. And don't make Genshin your main game. What the hell? I feel like Genshin is supposed to be like a, you know, a secondary game of sorts. Uh, I can't hit him. This guy's level 100. I have to be careful. A few hours I run. Yeah, that's good. Gotta commend myself for that. Oh, I shoo! Seems like a soldier thing. Circle of Slaughter. It seems like a night blade thing, actually. He was dual wielding. Anyways, I'd like to try exploring in Azuma. And my motivation right now is um, trying to get um, Zhongli. I, I want him really bad. I, I think he's gonna be really great with my Ganyu. If I do manage to get him. My Ganyu really needs a shield. It's rough playing Melt without having a fucking shield. You know, you have to be really close range and all. To make Shangling Ganyu work. It does a lot of damage, but my survivability is fucking garbage. Right now, my team with her is like a. Um, Ganyu, Venti, Bennett, and Shangling. Bennett's my healer. Sort of also the energy guy. Him and Venti are the energy guy. That skill's not ready. But yeah, I, I really need a shield. Ganyu's strong, but she's fragile. If I get Zhongli, um, my life is going to be way easier. And I'll probably start 12 starring the Abyss. That skill's not ready. I don't think I'm going to get him. I really don't think I'm going to get him. <laughs> I got Dilluk only recently. I wasn't even hoping for that guy. I wanted the Albedo, but I got Dilluk. Fuck. I'm still mad about it. What the fuck? Fuck me. Oh, oh, oh my god. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I should I shouldn't stand up like that at him. Oh. It's Jesus. Retaliation pet thing. So I assume this is um This is um for a shaman, right? Retaliation pet, isn't that for shaman? I saw a retaliation shaman pet build with um the the book of Agnapesh. These fucking these flies man, they keep going to the monitor screen. I get that it's light and all and that's a attractive but I don't like it. Have you found good bothers me seeing flies good? there? So yeah, we're gonna put this here, I guess. Because this seems nice. I just... <laughs> I just wanna see my damage right now with this. Oh, surprisingly not that big. I'll keep it anyways. Yeah. 
This is actually better than this. Oh. If I get like um, an ultimate like this, that'd be nice. Oh yeah, this upsets me. Oh wait, it needs it needs cunning to be used. It has 10k less damage. And it's a set item. I'm pretty sure I'm trying to go for this set. But it has less damage. Uh, it sucks. This is also really good. But I'm not sure if I can change it now. What I have right now is pretty strong. Right? Let's see though. Well, regarding the DPS, it isn't a big, a big change, really. But my chaos resistance is in trouble without the divide of Drig. I need to find a way to get chaos resistance. Oh, I can do that by getting rid of this. The um, the ectoplasm. Amulets and medals, black tile. Black tile would require rift stone. Go on I think I'm gonna try to farm Warden Creek with this character. So yeah, I'm just gonna change this. Oh yeah, what is this? Um, Magi armor, and I want this. <laughs> there is a book here that's really good for my character. Actually, it's like a an elemental drink thing. I think it was this one. <laughs> elemental drink? Can you believe it? It's an amusing thought, isn't it? There's also a weapon I can craft here, actually. For drink. Which one is it? Was it this? Well, I can't tell if it's exactly stronger. I don't think it is. Might be though. Well, it seems like a, a necromancer cultist thing. I really would like to try wearing this though. Hmm. I'd need a bit of cunning now. I should add some points into it. Do that for now. Oh, uh, my dry armor. I think I'm gonna go for uh, gonna go to elite for a bit. My dry armor. Drake's Ryman, huh? It's built for my character. And now uh, let's go for my dry armor for now. Is it this one? No, it's Silver Sentinel. There's no search button, sadly. And oh, there it is. Thank you. I think I'm gonna reset my uh, my points as well. I'm not gonna put any more points in spirit. I think I don't think I need to do to do that. I have a lot of points in spirit for some reason. Like a lot of points. I mean, just natural points, you know. I barely put it. It's like there's like I have like 17 points in it, and my physique is like more than that. Like look, my spirit is way higher. Right? 17 points and 80. I mean, right now it's because of this. So yeah, I'm gonna try to reset my my attributes. Isn't there a potion for that? I'm speaking potions. I just wasted my XP potion. 
Eh, whatever. So this is for devotion. And what's for attributes? It's this one. Oh, I have two of it. Hi. I'd like to put right now like until 30 at least. Oh, 40 should be fine. Safe storage, no I don't think I need to put any points in spirit. So I'll just put cunning, cunning. Cunning, cunning. cunning. Oh wow, that's really bad. <laughs> that's surprisingly bad. No, it's gonna get stronger once I get the second set, but still. That's horrible. The chaos resistance is pretty nice though. I wonder what makes it so much better than the other one. I don't think it's just the add-ons. Or is it? Hmm. My head itches. My head really itches. Oh my god, it's so itchy. Bam 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 so, and like a chess thing, um, this is so good by the way, needs busted steel, and yeah, right now we're aiming for this one, I like the armor absorption it gives, hmm, So, oh yeah, we, oh we should just go to normal. I really want to wear this weapon instead, <laughs> this dagger, but it's it's really upsetting how much weaker it is. No, no, I'm not doing that. Anyway, uh, vitriolic. Galston. We. Uh, and probably to drink, right? See anything you like? No, I think I have more of it actually. <laughs> Corvan cactus powder. It's not what I'm using, is it? No, I'm using Drake Spine this. This one. Oh, what the fuck am I doing? See you around. So, what now? Yeah. <laughs> That's really upsetting, isn't it? Damage is much higher. The casting speed, the offensive ability, and the the Drake's evil eye stuff, I guess. 
Yeah, I'll just try to go wear, wear this for now, even though I'm having I'm sort of having damage problems. Let's see what we can put together. Mm, like to remove that. Like to put this there. Oh, it's amulets and medals. So medals. I kind of need this. I want the ward stone. So right now, this is how it looks like. Um, what are the things we can make for the ring? Gonna be more scrap metal. Mm. Seems nice. Some HP also seems nice. Well, Frozen Heart seems pretty good, isn't it? For now. Let's go with that. I do have problems with getting frozen and all that. So what now? We spend this all in physique, I guess? Because we really don't need to put anything in spirit. Well, we don't have the Vod of Greek now, which is sad. Oh yeah, I'd like to put this here. Dun, 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 dun. Mad Queen's Claw. Oh yeah, I got this in Elite. I was pretty lucky when I killed that lady. The Mad Queen and Abyssmeal Secrets. We have over 48. That's nice. 54k damage. 61k damage. Fuck! <laughs> this is really is more convincing, isn't it? Yeah, let's just wear this for now, I guess. Mm, wait, let's go to ultimate. Well, we're gonna have less um, chaos resistance because we don't have the Vod of Drake anymore. It's 81 percent. If I do this, it's gonna be 21. Eh. Let's hope we'll be fine. Hope. Oh. That's all we have. Either resistance, nope. <laughs> My decision is going to be questionable, but... I hope we'll be fine. Oh. Oh, I should keep this. Get away from me. I like to keep this too. Do do do. Hmm Oh yeah, I haven't really been talking. Wait a minute. <laughs> These things are important, okay? Put that there. Put that there. Where were we? I don't remember what I was talking about anymore. I guess I was talking about Ningguang skin, and I pretty much already mentioned that getting a gear for this character is going to be very difficult. It's not going to be easy. So what's next is um Hunter X Hunter. I've been uh, rewatching it. 
earlier I spent like hours rewatching it actually. I didn't start from episode one, but my dad did. I guess he just got the feeling to rewatch it again. And I've been having fun rewatching it as well. It's impressive how much details you miss, you know. Or like you forget. But yeah, I feel like um, every time I, I'll rewatch this show, I'll gain more love for it. I can't really tell if there's a significant change in my damage. Oh, my mana problem. It's back. That That's fun. <laughs> and my casting speed, I think, is lower, right? Huh. And the mana problem, most importantly. I think the mana problem is just mainly because I switched these two. Uh, I used to have the elixir on them, the, the ectoplasm. That will be fine. Yeah, I've been uh, enjoying watching Hunter x Hunter. I'm now in the Greed Island arc. The the second episode of the Greed Island arc. Ever since um, I... I think it was Giguk. Who was talking about how, you know... How, how Gon is as a character. I never realized until, you know, he started mentioning it that... Khan is a pretty selfish guy. I think back then I always thought, like before that video you mentioned, I always um had the impression of him as a selfless dude. And after watching that video, I I understood, you know, why he thinks he's selfish. And rewatching the series now, you know, you understand more what he means. By gone being selfish. And the York New York New Arc is really good actually. Holy shit, that's amazing. I can see why there's like a, a sort of debate regarding what the uh the best arc was. Because uh, I think people, I mean, majority of people are probably going to be saying uh, Chimera. And I think so too. I think Chimera is really good. But I'm not so sure sure anymore. So uh, maybe if I rewatch the Chimera arc, I'll find out. But your new arc is so fucking good. Man. And Karapika is so interesting. And oh my gosh, she's hot. Have I, have I talked about like how before when I was young and I first like, you know, watch Hunter x Hunter, I always thought Garapika was a girl. And even though my dad told me that he was a dude, I'd still be confused because my memory is also bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'd be like, you know. I'd be confused about it. And even now, I'm still confused. Because I, I often refer to Kurapika as a she. <laughs> I just can't help it. And the voice is so hot. Voices like Kurapika are really good. They're really attractive. It's so handsome. And, you know, gaining more insight regarding the spider is really nice. I I grew to love the characters more in the spider, especially uh, Pakunoda. 
And I was also reminded by how Phaeton, how similar Phaeton is with Levi. Short, same eyes, literally the same face and eyes. There's literally no difference between them. I wouldn't be surprised if the. Uh, I think. I think. I think. Um, I I learned this from like a comment section or something in YouTube where like somebody said that Levi is like an inspiration from Phaeton. It's probably true. And man, I don't, I don't know why they did that. I mean, I know why they did that, like uh, with Pakunoda, just a bit before she she shot her her comrades with um her gun, her revolver. You know, they they um they had this like a uh, part where like she interacted with a cat, and she meowed back at it really cutely and I was like oh my god <laughs> she's gonna die fuck it's pretty great how Hunter x Hunter has like you know can like juggle between serious and amusing moods like next thing you know it's serious and then next thing you know it's gonna be comedy. It's really great how there's a balance of that. Mm -hmm. Nice. I'll always take more blueprints. Gon's fight with um, Hisokai and the, the Heaven's Tower was really nice as well. And now that I really look at it, the fight scenes in um, Hunter x Hunter aren't exactly that, you know, spectacular. Like when you think of fix spectacular fight scenes you think of something like uh, like MAPPA stuff right well if you ask me like what I think of spectacular fights I'd think somewhere around like Manglobe fight scenes you know Samurai Champloo and shit I think Cowboy Viva also had some pretty good fight scenes yeah definitely had The animation in Michiko was also really good. But the animation in Hunter x Hunter isn't... I feel like the, the fight scenes are... You know... Um, they're good and impactful because of the, the story behind them. You get me? It's like the weight of the story is uh, carrying the fight scenes. As opposed to like the spectacular fight scenes I mentioned, they have a balance of really good story and um, really good animation. Can't do that. I think I could say the same for something like JoJo as well. I don't think the fight scenes are that good, but they're really interesting because of like the mind games and you know the dialogues and all. But if you, you you muted the video and look just looked at the fight, you know, it really wouldn't be great at all. Anyways, that it's just something I thought I thought about. I think I've been thinking it for quite a while now, but I guess I never really formulated or completed my my thinking process with it. Did I already take the fabric thing? I think I did. Uh, yeah, I did. 
Okay, I need to change one of my uh, <laughs> my rings to the ectoplasm again. This mana problem. Uh, though I can probably just spam my potions and be fine. And Uvujin's fight actually was pretty good as well. Holy shit! The way he beat those those um those three with just his fucking neck was amazing. Like the what did he call them? The shadow beast. The first guy he bites off his head. The leech. And the second guy was the. The dog or something with the rabid teeth, the paralyzing poison or some shit. He kills that guy by spitting the the leech's bones on him, spitting it really strongly. And then the third guy, I was wondering how he was gonna kill that guy. I thought he was gonna spit at him again. I forgot already because I have bad memory. But you know what he did? It was surprising. He yelled really loud. Like, really fucking loud. Maybe an enhancer can enhance, enhance their own voice too. Anyways, that was amazing. So fucking lo loud, that guy's eardrums were ruptured. And he died. That skill's not ready. Poor porcupine. I'd like to get um, the Warden's portal first, and then I'll continue exploring everything. That skill's not ready. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Burp. Man, I completely forgot how Karapika's ability works. What really amazed amazed me was the the Emperor time. Her her, her his ability to um you know maximize all the the classes of Nen. One hundred percent over everything. That's his specialist ability. I was like, damn, that's amazing. It's such a cool ability. And Karapika cross dressing was also really nice. Truly the best girl. That skill's not ready. Can't do that yet. I think out of all the characters in Hunter x Hunter, the, the, the one I liked the most ever since I was a kid and until now was Kurapika. Either it was Kurapika or, or Kilua. I think it depended on my mood. But it was either of those two. I think right now I'm convinced it's Kurapika. <laughs> but a character I wasn't really fond of when I was a kid was Liorio. But now that, um, you know, I have a bit more understanding with stuff, I really appreciate Lior Liorio. I really like characters like him. For example, like Star-Lord. I don't know, they're, s they're so genuine, you know? They're human. In a world where everybody's like fucking crazy powerful, these guys remain and gives it and give us some you know some positivity ow it hurts it hurts fuck man oh my god yeah i'm not playing the crucible fuck you
Sadly, no violet items. That's okay. Let's check the notepad again. High score girl. I think I already talked about actually watching High Score Girl. I don't really remember if I talked about it or not. I just remember that I really like this anime. And I actually read the entire manga as well. <laughs> I like the anime so much, I, I, I fucking. I read the manga really quickly. Usually I take my time with that shit. But this one, I, I rushed. Like, I really watched. Watch everything. And I read the manga. It is such a good story. It's one of those stories where, like, you know, people grow up and things change and stuff. Yeah, if I were to um, explain. Or like um, summarize the story. It would be about this guy catching up to this girl. Like that would be like the simplest way of putting it, I think. Because that's really what, what it's about. Haru and Ono. I don't know why my jaw hurts today. It really does. Oh, what did I do? I don't think I talked that much, have I? And I haven't really, you know, talked talk to myself like this in a while. So why? And when I was watching, oh. Might be that, actually. I think while I was watching uh, Hunter x Hunter, I was like, um, I was like sitting like this. Well, you guys can't see it, but my my jaw is on my knee right now. I I have weird sitting positions, and I find them comfortable. And I think that's really what matters in the end. I don't think your position really matters, as long as you're comfortable. I mean, it does matter. I mean, <laughs> good position can always make you healthier in a way, right? I try not to care too much for that stuff. That skill's not ready. It's a pain to be bound to those things. Hmm. I think I'm gonna end this video soon actually. Probably once I finish this and go back to Dallas Crossing to sell my stuff. I can't really think of too much stuff to talk about now. Right now what I'm thinking of is I want to drink. I don't think I've really drank beer in a bit. Quite a bit I think. A month or two? Yeah, there was a time where we were like drinking mule like fucking every day for like two weeks. <laughs> that was that was that was that was good. I enjoyed that. My dad my dad drank too much though. So. And he keep drinking. I like the feeling of being tipsy. I don't want to be too drunk. This last time I was really drunk, I was so wasted, I blacked out, and I don't remember what I was doing or what I said. Apparently I was saying some pretty mean stuff to my friend. I apologized to him after he told me that. I felt bad about it. Ever since then, I, I vowed to not, not drink too much. Mm. 
I want to um, stay in a level where I have full control of myself still. Of like what I say. Now being drunk is a pretty good excuse to be honest. To be honest. <laughs> It's amazing how strong bloody boxes. I don't think I'm ever gonna remove it. It's really carried me through the beginning till the end. Man, nothing good. That's dingy. I made their crystal stone, nice. Nemesis, sweet. I don't know when it happened, but it was apparently Nemesis with beasts as well. I got I got spooked because I fought that that Nemesis um, enemy that keeps duplicating. this like um bear like thing with um it's pretty quick and has a lot of bleeding stuff it has like a bleeding puddle that he uses that skill's not ready And we have we have three people to talk to when we get back. Oh no, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, let's kill you first. Yeah, why me? Yeah, I'd like to keep this actually. <laughs> Might be worth it just buy this. I got some set items then, right? Yeah. I'd like to keep this. Yeah, arrange this. Nice. Mm. Is this the only things I got for sets? I guess so. Yep. Oh wait, can you fix the piss? Thank you. Can't do that yet. Thank you. And as usual, my devil's crossing is always the lowest, I think. Oh no, it's the Black Legion this time. What's with I? Anyways, this is gonna be it for today. I feel really exhausted already for some reason. And the chickens are already cocking. I haven't really... I don't think I've slept... I, don't, I think I've slept a long time yesterday. Maybe that's why I have a lot of energy to stay, stay awake this long. I'm just surprised about it myself. I should be sleeping by now actually. I was pretty sleepy earlier too, but I have completely forgotten the feeling of being sleepy. Oh, I need to talk to Darlet first. Hey. Anyways, Let's exit the game. Our screen is gonna be black. Oh yeah. 
Apparently, uh, Akebi-chan got um, an anime. I saw. I, I didn't see the picture, but I saw like somebody, like uh, some Facebook page, talking about it. I think I showed you guys a, a GIF affair last time. This lady. You remember her? Apparently, she got uh, an anime recently. I wonder if it's gonna be as good as the manga. Well, the manga, I don't think the manga was really that good, but, like, you know, art style wise. Because I remember the manga had really a uh, good art style. I was actually really fascinated by its art style. And that's why I, that was one of the main reasons why I actually wanted to read it. But I kind of stopped, like, three chapters in, I think. I don't th I don't I don't think it was that long so I should be able to catch up easily if I put my mind into it. Anyways. It's almost Thursday. We're going to have to pass our our answers and stuff. I'm still lacking some stuff but I'm pretty much almost done. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Later.